Now, which one of you brave individuals would like to list the facts of this case? Ms. Cooper, are you prepared to list the facts of the case? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, to me, the defendant had a valid reason for suing. He was fired because he had dreadlocks. Interesting. And how did you come to this conclusion? WWB. Working while black. Please continue, Ms. Cooper. Uh, when Mr. Tyler uh, went to interview, they knew that he had dreadlocks. So why would they turn around and claim that he violated a personal grooming policy a week later? But it stated in the file that he covered his dreadlocks with a hat during his interview, which, if you had read the file correctly, you would have seen. I mean, either way, this is a violation of the Crown Act. This incident occurred in 2018, which predates the Crown Act. Yeah, but... Thank you, Ms. Cooper. Class piece of advice. When listing the facts of a case, be sure to color a clear distinction between the facts and your personal feelings. 